All right, everybody. Hello, I'm Andrea with Soda Fit. I teach you how to fit patterns for your body, your taste, and your style. Thank you for joining my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you in the store. We're going to the store on how to sew or how to purchase or how to shop for denim fabric. As before, in video number 57A, I was talking to you about the actual pattern I'm working on and what I'm doing to fit my pattern. I don't really think that sewing a pair of jeans is as different as sewing a pair of pants except for the multiple ways of top stitching is done uh the fly, fly front zipper is exactly the same as with my let alone pants shorts that i did and the video number is here because i can't remember right now also the pockets are going to be scoop pockets so they're pretty easy to do we'll deal with that later but let's concentrate on the fabric itself i am making a sample pair to test the fit so i don't know why i did the pockets but i did and i also have another video to show you how to do these flat fail seams and that video number is either written down here so that video tells you how to do the flat fail seams, which is what you see right here. I wanted you to see before you start going into the store with me, as I work on showing you the different fabrics and everything, I'm going to, I have also some other fabric, denim fabric. They're all different weights and everything. And this is one of the heavier weight fabrics. And you'll see more of that in the store. I got this fabric from so much fabric but if you look at some of the edging and stuff which is the salvage this would be a pretty salvage jean this could be the side of the jean on the outside seam and the pants fit differently when you use the salvage to be your straight of grain uh, some resources to help you to find information about denim and jeans and stuff like that would be in this book called more fabric savvy by sandra Bedzina. i really like this book so if you use this book think about it as your guide when you're searching for stuff online all right it's very easy to shop for denim it's just anything will do <laughs> you can make jeans out of twill uh the other book would be uh, fabric sewing guide by claire schaefer this is a very heavy book <laughs> but it's a good place to start you can also go to uh online fabric stores and stuff and look up anything that has to do with that and read the descriptions and stuff basically denim is a twill weave fabric and you'll see that as we shop through the through the store denim is definitely a twill weave fabric it is something that's very heavy very stiff and very simple it is very tightly woven so basically you can use anything to make a pair of jeans that are in that family and as you go through the store you will be able to see how i show you up close and personal how that stuff looks i'm going to be showing you how the twill looks how the denim looks and then i'll be going through a little bit about the books i'm just going through some of the pattern books at the store because i'm not going to go online and search for patterns i just showed you how i just to give you a design idea of the pattern de details for searching or shopping patterns for denim uh, for making jeans but claire shaver's book is really really good uh, it has a lot of information as far as denim and what twill is how to sew it sewing fabrics so those two books would be good to refer to if you need help i am here to show you the different types of denim that you could possibly use now there are some things you need to keep in mind as far as the amount of spandex in the jeans if you need to have something that's really very stretchy i would not go more than two percent spandex on anything that's me I don't like anything that has a lot of spandex okay um, now in my particular case you can choose denim that is four six eight ten ounce things like that like for instance this denim is 100% cotton now look at the grade of this denim it looks a little bit lighter on the camera this is super light this denim would be more like trouser weight if you can see it's very 
not it's not very stretchy but one thing about it is you can literally make a denim shirt with this because it's so very light now here's another one that i pulled out down at the bottom here this one says 11 ounce denim and it only has one percent spandex now as far as the amount of spandex in this you can see it's going if you look at my fingers i'm gonna use the one inch that's not going a whole lot I use two inches it's not going very far okay so that's something to keep in mind I think I would like to have an 11 ounce denim because I have used a or I have at home a denim that is 10 ounces or no 13 ounces and a denim that's 13 ounces is extremely heavy here's another one of those four ounce denims of course like I said that is that's dress weight okay so don't get that for your pants now here is one that is extremely very heavy but there is absolutely no stretch and it says 12 ounce there is absolutely no stretch now that denim would definitely work for a pair of probably boyfriend jeans or any kind of jeans that you do not want to stretch and you can use this kind of denim to create a pair of pants with some roughing or edging that you want to make it into um, holes in it put some holes in it like this already has holes <laughs> now this one is 16 and it's another 12 ounce denim just a different color very heavy that's a twill right there you can see how it's made now this one is another four ounce denim which of course again is dress weight and shirt weight and you can see it is very thin see if you can see that look how thin it is so this here is definitely not what you want to have to make a pair of jeans okay so don't get any four ounce denim at all you're going to go with a six ounce denim or you're going to go with an 11 ounce denim and look at that it's actually a tinsel so it's really not made out of cotton it's a lyocell which is kind of a cross between rayon and yeah it lyocell is just a name brand for a type of rayon now here's one that's considered a dark wash and they using the word denim in colors as well but it's actually a modal which is again a rayon so don't don't get that let's keep going to more denim here's one this is a true denim and it is 74 percent cotton with some spandex in it and one percent of spandex polyester so you're looking at this is a denim and it's considered eight ounces okay eight ounces is a good weight and it has some stretch to it do use this if you really want to have some lightweight pants but remember it does have a little bit of stretch in it i would really like to have one of these with a tiny bit of stretch in it um eight ounce compared to another one now i got another eight ounce sample from so much fabric to show you the difference in this and the selvage on it is pretty nice which tells you this probably is a pretty good denim and it comes from again china of course i get tired of the china stuff but anyway we're moving on here's a 12 ounce denim here and it's 100 percent cotton and that means it absolutely has no stretch the 11 ounce denim is a direction to go with two percent spandex do not go with more than two percent spandex or you'll have baggy butt if you go with the four ounce denim or six ounce denim here's another 11 ounce denim here and this 11 ounce denim has no stretch with the exception of it has a little modal in it and a little stretch actually i should have said that first which means it's very very soft so if you guys want some really soft denim pants or jeans then go with that if you want a really soft denim skirt then you can go with that now basically like i said you're going to have the four the six the 11 ounce eight ounce uh should i say it in order but the 11 ounce the 12 ounce the six 13 ounce and i think I, they they can have 10 ounce i think we saw a 10 ounce and if you get the 13 ounce just know 
that is a very heavy denim so consider 12 ounce to be probably the heaviest you want to sew with because that is very very thick denim but it will hold up forever <laughs> those are the denims you want to just you know wear you know like wrangler wrangler pants and then this here which is a seven ounce denim 100 percent cotton no stretch this is a good denim you might want to consider for uh even a dress you know but definitely pants it's kind of thin so i don't know how heavy you might want your denim to be so keep that in mind this has uh, a little bit of mechanical stretch it does not say that it has any kind of spandex in it but i can feel it has some kind of stretch in it and this is a seven ounce denim all right also keep in mind that some twill can be used for your jeans not as well but if you get the heavyweight twill which is called bottom weight if you get that kind of stuff then that will be a good denim or good consideration for what you want to use as for as the type of denim or jeans that you want now the bottom weight fabrics will be twill and they will be thick enough and they will hold up to what you need to create the type of pants you need as far as the comfort and the uh, movability of denim or anything you would choose to use as far as that material is concerned okay so i found some of the bottom weight fabrics that can be used for your uh, jean kind of uh, garments that you might want this one here is considered a sportswear and it is very thick it is really heavy and i would literally make something out of this this is um has three percent spandex and it's considered a stretch twill that would be something you can use anything that's considered a stretch twill or uh, I wouldn't use a polyester. I would only use a cotton. And here's one right here that says it's a solid twill. I would use something like that. And take a look at how it looks. It almost looks like the denim, doesn't it? So that's something to keep in mind. Now, let's move that back and so you can see. Okay, so look at this right here. This is something that would really work well as a closer fitting pair of pants made up into a five pocket denim type or jean type skirt or anything that would hang very nicely as far as creating something in the line of a pair of denim pants. Um, they have those in yellow, same type of fabric, sportswear, 3% spandex. And of course, it is a solid and it's considered a stretch twill. For other twills, you can look at the weight based on the ounces as well, just like you did with the denim. I looked at So Much Fabrics website and there was a show of 8.5 ounce and 6.5 ounce. So you might want to consider ordering samples from different companies or from this website to find out the weight now we're going to go over to the patterns so that you can take a look at those all right so i'm looking in the bird of pattern magazine and you can see that uh, the pants that are considered denim are going to have a yoke in the back it's going to have patch pockets and it's going to have uh, curved pockets in the front with a fly front zipper and a button on the waistband now you can see how this person has these very low rise and that may not be something for you guys i also found another one here that is more high rise and you can see that it's based on the pattern that you choose depending on the rise and this one has more top stitching which is something you want in a pair of jeans now here's another pair that's even higher rise if you notice considering where her elbow is it's still not to the waist the elbow is where the waist is here is a pair of the back has the built-in pocket inside of the yoke now i would make that but you might have to be very careful about that spreading open depending on how large your hips are in the back 
but they would be considered a pair of jeans. But this is the one you could use with the twill fabric I showed you earlier. It is a very nice cut pair of pants that can be used as the twill. This is a jean denim front fly with the button in the front and you'll be able to enjoy those if you want. Now actually it does not have the button but you can add the button because most likely these are hooking eyes. Okay, so that is it with the Berta. And that is Berta number 6432. And the other one is Berta number 6543. And then this one is Berta 6534. And those are true denim jeans. This is the McCall pattern number 7547. Now this is going to be a pair of overalls as well as a pair of uh, pants. They are not actually jeans, but they can be made with jeans. I would not put this zipper on the side if you want to consider this to be a pair of jeans. You really need to make sure you have a flat front, not a fake flat front, which is the way these pants are made. But they can be made out of a denim fabric. So that's something to keep in mind as well. It's probably one of the best patterns you can use if you are plus size and you want it to be to your high waist. You can take a look and see where her elbow is. You can see those pants are very high and it has a flare leg. This is McCall 5894 and it is a Mrs. and women's jeans. So it comes all the way up to a women's size 24W. That's something to keep in mind. Now, here's another pattern. This is actually the same pattern, 5894. You can look at, uh, this is loosely made, which is more of a trouser look. And that trouser look still has the patch pocket in the back. And you have the straight leg if you want to go with the straight leg. So you have a lot of options with this pattern if you want to go with that one. So here you can see they have the view B and view A uh, that you can choose below the waist. You can choose below the waist straight leg. You can choose slim cut boot leg if you want to, or you could choose um, pretty much any leg width you want. You can choose that leg width even as you're sewing or cutting the pattern. You can tighten it up if you'd this like. An interesting pair of jeans, which is something I truly love. This is when you get into designer jeans. You can take a look at how this is made. You see how it has the front seam, and that goes into more of the details that can create a little bit more problems for you if you're not ready for the old-fashioned 1970s jeans <laughs> you can always make a twill skirt you can make this out of denim or twill like i showed you earlier because this one has the yoke that continues to be something that helps to shape your pants more of a designer pant these are designer yokes designer waistband but basically they are jeans okay you can consider them jeans or you can consider them basic pants and there you are with the different views and you see that they have the yoke in the back as well as the flat front zipper the way this is made tells you that it is cut like a pair of jeans now i want to tell you that this is definitely the pair of jeans i would wear <laughs> They are not considered jeans, but they have some of the same cuts that I would use probably with a, maybe a six ounce denim or even an eight ounce denim. I like the button front, it'll lay down flat. I like the way that they have the center front line. However, the pockets are not something that I enjoy being down there on the hip line. I'd probably sew those together and put pockets right here in a different shape like a regular pair of jeans. Now, Butterick does not have a lot to offer in the place of anything you want to make out of jeans, but this would be made out of a stretch poplin or it could be made out of a stretch denim or a stretch twill. Anything that you want to make out of this one, this does not have the yoke in the back here, but it is a nice pair of pants that you can include in your wardrobe depending on how much you want to work with that back end on there. That's a Marcy Tilton number B6327. I feel like is the perfect pattern. This is Butterick 5682. 
it includes the trouser pants, which you can make with the four ounce denim, the six ounce denim, and even the eight ounce denim. It also includes the slim leg, which helps to go in closer. You can wear them shorter. It says jeans or trousers. You can wear denim, stretch wovens, which would be your twills, even a um, stretch sateen or anything like that. Just remember the more lycra you have in it or spandex you have in it, the more of a problem you're going to have with saggy butt. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right, so you can take a look at D has the flared leg, which is the one that I pretty much like most of, most of all. And I would really even make it more flared. Then you have the boot cut, which you can see as far as uh, letter C, the boot cut has a little bit straighter uh, at the ankle and at the calf and at the knee. That gives you more room to put those boots on underneath your pants, okay? different from the flare legs, whereas the flare legs come in at the middle of your leg and closer to your calf. So that makes a big difference as far as the difference between boot cut and flare leg. Then of course they have another kind, which is the regular old straight leg, which you could consider those to be trousers, but still they would be denim depending on if you make them with a denim fabric. All of these are based on the weight of fabric you decide to use. So keep that all in mind when you choose the fabric compared to the pattern. Okay guys, I wanna show you this one here. This is a really interesting pattern. It's Vogue 1640, which I can't really find very many pants that can be considered denim pants or jeans, but I thought this would be really cute if you want to have that real true 1970s look with the high waist pants and the bell bottoms this is too cute look at that okay now she's wearing it short with the booties but if you want to make it long of course you can make it much longer which is going to give you much more flair this is something that i would find extremely fun to make which is definitely on my list you can make this in a lightweight four ounce denim or you can make it in a lightweight twill or any other fabric that suit your needs it says use stretch wovens and medium weight denim of course like i said that would be the four ounce six ounce or seven ounce denim and of course it's a fly front zipper has the uh, flared legs and you have the yoke in the back you can put a button on the front because it does have the fly front zipper if you want to use that i would recommend putting buttons because they seem to hold better when you have a belly okay all right that one is the first one photos not want to have all that excess pocketing and everything in your front this one has a flatter front no pockets but it does have the regular denim um let's see we have the button and you also have the flat front you can wear the wet legs wider and of course it is bold 9181 i think this is really nice especially since it fits custom bottoms including the curvy figures if you have that problem or if you have more of a tummy then you can wear this at a higher level on your waist as far as the fabric is concerned it does tell you that you can wear stretch woven which means that you need to wear a minimum of a two percent stretch in or lycra or spandex in your jean fabric if you choose to get that I would recommend a stretch woven would be a four ounce, six ounce, or a seven ounce stretch denim. Okay, so there you go. That's it. That's all we have as far as the pattern books are concerned. All right, everybody, that was it. So as far as the fabric store is concerned, that's what I can find. This is up and also online fabric stores. Make sure you order your samples if you want to. And if you do order samples, make sure you ask them what the weight is. There is a calculation that you can do for the GSM weight compared to the weight of ounces. So if it gives you the GSM of 350, then you need to ask Siri or your telephone and ask how many ounces is 350 GSM and it will tell you the ounce of the material that you're dealing with. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the other side and, and uh, take a look at some of the other videos that I have and hopefully this helps you. Talk to you later. Bye.